It's Priscilla Batzell in Springhill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. With a 12 by 12 by 2 inch gallery up canvas coated with dry, now dry, two coats in fact, of mead and black paint. A couple acetate tools I think I'll use. And I want to go mostly purples, but I want to go rogue. So I'm going to use some Chantilly lace. Wherever I feel like putting an O down. Because it's going to be the wet background that helps facilitate everything else. Also, it looks really cool right now. <laughs> And why shouldn't I? I do things because I can. So let's start with my African Violet. I'll just lead a few things to other things. Use that as our trajectory. How about some deep amethyst? That's got a little hanger on. I've got to get rid of things that are hanging on. Thinking about using some true silver. I might use gold also. But mostly I want this to be purple with a few accents. The accents being probably Neptune's gaze with, oh, that's the mix. That's Neptune's gaze with some frozen added to some Chantilly lace. I've been really enjoying this Twilight Orchid. And yes, I often <laughs> am prone to making a painting before painting. So that is definitely what you're seeing. I'm going to throw a little curveball in there and add a little bit of hot orchid, which is available from Primary Elements as jasmine. If you're looking to purchase or invest in some prison pours, the price point difference between them and something like a color shifting paint from Folk Art not very different, quite similar in fact. So I have to recommend them since I was very addicted to the color, excuse me, <laughs> very addicted to the folk art. I like the residual lines that are left over in places I don't swipe, so that is why, you yeah, know, let's do it again. One of these times I'm going to go, oh, I like that, and just stop. <laughs> I'm going to stick a little bit of dark water in here, which is a wonderful deep greenish turquoise. I'm probably too evenly dispersing things, and I did say I was going to add some silver. I've got two or three more purples. This is the true silver, which isn't doing anything for me right now. That could change. Violet Rose, another gorgeous purple. I'm thinking that I'm going to change my mind and add some blue, maybe cerulean blue. Maybe blue velvet. Let's get a different angle on this. I'm still definitely craving some, some Mayan gold also. Let's give it a bit of a shake and hope it's free flowing. Not as free flowing as I'd like it to be.
Definitely time to unplug that. I think I'm going to break all my rolls and go ahead and add some orange and things in here. And that needs to be cleaned out in a bad way. Oh, there's a plug. I'm going to get it. Look at the size plug that was in there. Wow. That's the entire lining area of the tip. All right. So, you know what? I have orange unicorn spit and Aussie Floetrol for a cell activator. So what I'm thinking really is the cobalt... Uh, excuse me, cerulean blue. And if that doesn't do it, the orange will. I want something much lighter in there. Which leads me to think about the blue bonnet or the frozen. Let's see how I like the blue bonnet first. I like it pretty well. I thought about adding a rogue element, which is this pink lady, which is kind of an odd color to go with the rest, in my opinion. But I kind of want to see what it looks like in there, too. Might go well with the orange. It might be just what I need. I still want to add orange. You can hear me talking about it, so you know I'm thinking about it. Although, those two things don't necessarily go together. This is Tuscan Sun with a little bit of unicorn spit. And you could just as easily do this with Tuscan Sun and Orange Crush. And I have another mixture just like that. I don't have any idea what this is going to be like. But I am inclined right now to either go with some poinsettia. Or some carnation. I am thinking the poinsettia. I also have big apple, which might be really cool too. Maybe a little more red. I prefer things on the purpley side. My reds I like on the fuchsia fuchsia tone. Yeah, I really like that actually. And now it's time to decide to do something like <laughs> go one step further than you should and I want some of the blue velvet just because I happen to be a huge fan of the blue velvet. I'm thinking about wiggle dragging which sounds kind of messed up. <laughs> Honestly, let's see if my dish is dry. It's mostly dry. So I'm going to put some purple. Bring my white over. Move my gold out of the path. Not sure what I'm going to do here, but I have my small tool and I have moved my... What did you do with it, woman? Okay, well I guess we're working with this small tool right now. And we're gonna go purple and orange. We are if it'll come out. Yes, you closed it, you silly woman. All right. I'm going to go a little bit slowly today, just because I really love those colors. My white's not coming out super fast. And 
and the gold is not always a cell activator, but it's always pretty. I like the white. I'm going to put some of it down in my dish. I will try and remember to add the acetate tools. I like the white and the gold together. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And if I scrape it off at the edge, it'll drip down and add a design element to the edge of the canvas. I'm going to try the white again. The gold is golden iridescent. And if you use if you happen to be fortunate enough to use the thinnest version, it will work as a cell activator. I'm not so sure. I didn't make a mistake because mine don't mine doesn't sell the same way it would alone. I love the fact that I can pick up paint with my little acetate tool and add lines. Hopefully I don't take too long. I like weaving the paint. And depositing the residuals for my little tool. So there's some white. Let's do the black. If I see that other tool, I'm going to use it. Somebody's like, there it is! And I'm like, where? <laughs> This time I'm going to really try and leave some of the colors behind. Also, I can use this little tool to pick up excess paint residuals. I would really like that other little tool. And I have a bunch of them, so it's kind of odd there aren't like three more right handy available. I don't know, my husband is on the phone with Spectrum and he's not happy with them because they ended his television. <laughs> Let's keep going and hope that I spot that. That was black, white, and some gold. I'm not sure it's the most thrilling way to make a painting for anybody listening, but it's a lot of fun for me. <laughs> I just get to keep adding new lines and sort of weaving the paint by just curving my tool. I always wanted to leave enough of these lines to really make a design element impact. And also there's the possibility that while I'm in there I could add a few spirals. And I'm loving the colors so I don't think I have anything to complain about. I really do want that tool though. That is so strange. The gremlins are available and ready for fire in my studio. <laughs> Oh, that's just so mean-spirited of the universe right now. Sorry for taking a moment to look. I was definitely enjoying the white, which is unfortunate because it's not coming out quickly. I don't think this is going to get a lot different. picking up colors, making cell patterns.
Just waggling back and forth, basically. But like I said, I am enjoying it. Throw a few more spirals in there. Why not, after all? I do things because I can. Hey, that's the name of my book. <laughs> the, my first volume, because I can, is next to my second volume, Unlimited Possibilities. And if you check underneath the link tree that's underneath Show More, you will probably find them both on the Amazon link. Yep, I took too long. I had a feeling I was being less lackadaisical. Well, I've got three minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork. And if you like what I do, and I'm liking what I do right now quite a bit. Letting it drip too. I'll probably add quite a few more spirals. I'm, th I'm feeling that that will make me happy. Because the colors are just fun anyway. So don't forget there's a 20% off coupon code underneath show more, underneath the video. For all color art products. And I am using the prism pores. If you need help with anything, I'm here for you. Just please feel free to ask. I answer questions. If I have the answer, I share the answers. <laughs> If I don't, I'll point you in the right direction at least, or tell you I don't know. Alright, I think one more row at least. And I really like, I think my favorite cell activator was the white with the gold in afterwards. This would have looked a little different had I continued to be able to find the larger tool. I love you guys. I do sell my artwork. Did I say that already? Um, it's after happy hour, so I warn you. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and uh, I do sell my artwork. My email address is the best place to reach me and inquire after either, information about either. And it is E-A-S-P-B, and the word gallery spelled out, at gmail.com. Yeah, I'm just trying to merge this edge I have beautiful cells. I just don't have as many as I would have expected with the larger acetate tool, but I don't think that it really bothers me that much right now. And I am going to try and take my cell phone down and show you how beautiful these colors are. It reminds me of fabric. I will be torching and looking for bubbles. Yeah, I added a few dots. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I'm going to try and zoom in. And then I'll check and see what needs to be adjusted on my edges, if anything. Because I have some really nice drips. <laughs> I see a bubble right in the middle, though. Yeah, I really like this. It reminds me of a tapestry for some reason. Like, this would, if you could digitize it, you'd get a really nice result from uh, an embroidery app. I like all my little black gaps. This is like maybe the best use of the black negative space that I've, that I've done yet as she fills in some of them. Yeah, you know me. That's the way it goes. And I also like shining my light at the end, not just to shimmer it at you, but because it's a great way to find the bubbles and pop them. Those colors are gorgeous. So I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I hope you come again. I post at noon Eastern Standard Time, at least for the moment, until I choose to post at 3 p.m., which could be coming. In April, the end of April, I'm thinking about doing memberships. Let me know how you feel about that. There will be a drawing for members and videos nobody else sees. I'm not saying they'll be top shelf. 